Hey guys and welcome back to another video with Lugalili. This week's speed drawing is actually a bit special since I created this drawing last year in December because I was part of a giant telephone game that my friend Jacqueline organized. And for those of you who don't know what a telephone game is, it's basically a challenge where the first person had to create a drawing using a theme that we decided on in a group and in this case the theme were mermaid and then when the first person were done creating their drawing he or she would have to create a description of the drawing only using word and then pass it on to the second person in line and then the second person would create their own drawing using that description when they were done, they would create a new description and pass it on to the next person in line and so forth. And it turned out being actually a bit more complicated doing this than we first anticipated, basically because we were so many people. We started out being 33 people, but unfortunately we lost someone on the way and I think we ended up being only 20, 21 people in the end. And that was due to the fact that when it was their time in the line, they didn't have the time actually to sit down and create a drawing. And because we were so many people in this game, we decided that we only had four days to create a drawing and then pass our description on to the next person in the line. Otherwise, it would simply take too long. And I started being number 13, which is my lucky number, but I ended up being number 10 in the line. And I will try to read out loud the description that I got from the person before me. And just to mention, this description were given to me in Danish, so I have tried to translate it the best way that I possibly could. She is in the water and in the corner of the drawing you see some tentacles. I think it's called that. You know, like the arms of an octopus. The mermaid have a more fish-like look than the classical beautiful aerial mermaid. She has slightly yellow green skin, fish scales and webbed fingers and so forth. In addition, she has brown, almost golden hair and a long red tail with two fins attached onto it. Moreover, she has bare breasts and last but not least, she has a simple leather bracelet with seashells and she's holding a golden trident that almost shines in the water. There's some blood on the tridents and also on the mermaid. And I really tried to incorporate all of the things in the description. And I think I got all of them. I almost forgot the shine on the tridents, so it's really barely not visible, but I added it like last thing. I tried actually getting around some of the things in the description, like the fact that she were topless because I knew I was gonna make this into a speed drawing and post it on my Instagram and so forth and therefore I did not want her to be like visibly topless and braless so I had her leaning forward so that you weren't able to actually see her breast but still giving the effect that she was topless in the description that I got, I didn't get any details on how the tail actually looked, except the fact that it had like two small fins attached to it. So to give her a more fist-like look, I had her tail split into those small octopus lookalike tentacles thingies. And I added some spikes along the back of the tail, and I think it's a really nice detail. It was a lot of fun to actually be part of this challenge, except the fact that it was a really, really long time. As you see, I created mine in December and it's only been what two weeks since we actually finished this challenge. One week, maybe. 
So it was a really long time due to the fact that we were so many people. And I will be leaving a link in the description to all of the drawings on a Tumblr page. And I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please remember that I post a new video every week. But if you want to be updated even more, I also have an Instagram where I post several times a week. And if you're interested in buying any of my art, I also have a Redbubble shop. And until next time, take care and bye bye.